how to use accounting accounting software for beginners hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to use accounting which is a simple and easy to use open source online and free platform for accounting beginners. So let's get into it. Now, accounting is one of the most popular online accounting softwares out there. Plus it is available in multiple different languages and it has a bunch of different amazing features like these easy accounting features such as bank accounts, multi-company, powerful reporting, customer summaries, recur everything, client portals, and so much more. And you have a all-in-one platform providing you with things like tax rates, discounts, dashboards, and widgets, bulk actions, and so much more. So to get started with accounting, all you have to do is click on accounting.com. Just go on to their website link, and then you're going to click on get started on the top right over here. And once you click on get started, all you have to do is input your email address, and then you're going to input a password that you want, Then you're going to verify that you're not a robot, and then you're just going to click on sign in over here. Now we're just going to click on sign in and we're just going to sign into our account. And that is how simple and easy it is to sign in to accounting or create your account on accounting because you just have to create a password and an email. So whatever email address you already have. Now, after that, they're going to ask you a couple of questions like your first name and your last name or what your company does. So we're just going to enter this basic information. Let's say it is a food service company and let's say the uh, role of us at our company is a ceo then you're going to add how long you've been in business let's say one to two years and then you're going to add the number of team members let's say it is five to nine then you're going to add how do you build your customers so we're just going to add pen and paper and then you're going to add how you would primarily like to use accounting so whatever is the primary primary function you want to use accounting for you're going to add that over here here. let's say uh, for us we want to pay our employees and we want to send and track invoices and we want to organize our expenses so these are the three basic things that we want to accomplish using accounting now i'm just going to click on next step over here and once you look on next step you're going to enter your company name so i'm going to name this burger time and then you're going to add your language, your currency, and where your company is based. And then you're just going to click on create a company. And now accounting is setting up their accounting system for you. So you just have to hold on a couple of seconds for this to be set up. And once this has been set up, this is going to be your basic dashboard. So you're going to see on your left, you have your navigation panel, and this is what your navigation panel is going to look like. So with your navigation panel, you can separate different companies as well. So you can see over here that this is just all of my currencies and taxes. So I'm just going to click on all this. And now you can see I have two different companies created on one email address. So one is Burger Time and one is Jane Doe Inc. And you can manage multiple businesses or multiple teams on this simple platform because you are going to be able to separate these entire workspaces. So anything in Burger Time is not going to be uh, interchangeable within Jane Doe Inc. Now in your navigation panel, other than that, you have your dashboard, items, sales, purchases, banking, calendar, report settings and application so you can see this is our dashboard and on your dashboard you're basically going to get a overall account overview you're going to have your income expenses and profit a graphical representation of this then you're going to have a few chart representations and as well as your account balances and your latest income and expenses. Now below that you have your items. So if you click on items over here, you can click on add new over here and then you can enter the item that you have. So let's say we're going to add meat Then you can add tax rates as well. You can add your description and then you can enter the sale price. Uh, let's say we're going to add meat, meat from six. And then you're going to, going to enter the sale price. Let's say we are selling these for $34. And then you can uh, enter the purchase price at 33 or like 23 whatever it might be. And then you can select the category. Then you can also upload pictures. And then you're just going to click on yes and then save. And this is just like one little thing. Usually you're going to add this like in bulk stock. So, so let's say you get uh, like 
$5,000 worth of meat stock for your business, then you're just going to add the purchase price and then later on add the sale price for that stock of meat. Uh, and that will enable you to keep track in your books as well. Now below that you have your sales section. So in here, in your sales, you have your invoices that you can generate. So anyone that is purchasing items from you, you can generate invoices from here. Then you also have your revenues. So revenue is you're going to be your paid income transaction you can just click on add new over here to begin adding your revenues and then you have your customers as well so any of the people that are working with you you can add them over here as well and for all of these sections you have a import and export list so if you already have filled out all of this data in a orderly fashion in a csv file or a excel spreadsheet then you can directly import all of this data on to your accounting uh, accounting software software now below that you're going to have all of your purchases like your bills payments and vendors so it's a very simple process the forms are very simple and all of these sections are given to you and then you just have to fill in your information like let's say we have meat drumsticks and uh let's say the quantity that we purchased in stock was 500 and then we have the total amount and then you can add a discount as well let's say we get a 10 percent discount on this so we're going to click on save over here now you can choose to add this however you want if this is a recurring bill if this is something from a specific category and any other file attachment and then you're just going to click on save over here and then you can also configure your payment in the purchases section of accounting as well so whenever you have a paid expense like your like the actual suppliers that you have the uh any of these suppliers that you have to pay any of the renters that you have to pay realtors that you have to pay you can manage all of that payment over here as well and then you can also add employee uh employee invoicing over here as well so any of the employees that are working for you you can uh, pay them directly from accounting as well although it is not recommended but you still can do that now below that you have your banking section so over here you can click on accounts and link your bank accounts then you have your transfers any of your transfer details you have transactions and rec reconciliations and then you also have a calendar function which i find to be super important because a lot of accounting softwares don't have calendar functions which i find to be pretty annoying because with any kind of bookkeeping you're going to need specific dates for specific items you need to make sure everything is happening accordingly so that is why you can just mark things over here you can add new invoices revenues bills or payments on specific dates on the calendar directly of accounting and then you have your basic report section down below in which you will able which will in which you will in which you will be able to get your income and income and expense summaries, your income versus expenses, and your accounting, which is going to be your profit versus loss plus tax summaries as well. Now, uh, this is a great software for beginners to begin keeping their books in. If you're someone starting out their business and you find that bookkeeping is becoming more difficult for you, then you definitely should check out accounting, but accounting does come at a price. So some of the basic features are available on the free version, you have live currency rates, billing calendars, and community support, and you have one user plus one accountant. So basically two users can use this application on the free version, but if you want to upgrade, then you have to go onto the premium cloud, which is $36 per month or $24 per month if you pay yearly. And then you can add unlimited users, employee management. So you can do payroll if you are subscribed to the premium version. And then you also have live currency rates, billing calendars, bank feeds, bank sheet and trial balances, general ledgers, chart of accounts, and manual journals and expense claims and address all completes with client portals as well. So you get a lot more customization on the premium cloud version that is a given, but even on the free version, you're going to be able to get quite a few different features that will enable you into better managing your business so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to use accounting for your accounting needs make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and if you have any questions leave them in the comment box down below and i will catch you guys in the next video